Well, hey everyone, I am Sarah B in WV without my twin sister T. Tara was not able to join us today or is not able to join us today. So um we you're stuck with me, but that's great. We have, oh my gosh, so many awesome things to show and share. So we are going to get started because there's a lot to cover today. First thing that I want to talk about is uh, what sold and um, then we're going to go into some other things, uh, what we've sourced recently. As many of you know, a lot of shops are opening back up. So Tara and I did go out one day and take a look around. It was so good to be, to see her again and kind of be back together. Uh, even though I have been out to the farm, it's just not the same. I mean, we like going out and having fun and doing awesome stuff. So anyway, uh, let's start into what we sold. Now, I do not have Tara's stuff here, so I will probably have to pull it up on, um, on uh, the, I'll screen share it. So the first thing, and the green screen is causing issues, is this is a Merry Mushroom from Sears and Roebuck, probably 1978 or 73, I think, 78. Yeah, 78. Uh, sold this, it does not have a lid. These are, uh, people buy these to replace something that's broken. And so I am excited that this piece is going to a new home. Uh, second thing that we sold is this beautiful Monet uh, necklace, and it has green stones on the side, but you can't see that because of the, what? Green screen! So, but it is a beautiful piece. I, I'll show you. Oh, yeah, there we go. Probably upside down. Um, this is a gorgeous piece. And I listed it and within a very short period of time, it sold. I have several pieces of vintage jewelry right now. Tara, I don't think has any jewelry on, but um, we do have, I have several pieces of vintage jewelry on. Uh, the other thing that sold was this piece, which is um, what I understand a 22 karat gold plated scarab necklace or pendant. And then it has these like lapis uh, beads separated by these gold discs. Um, and that sold very quickly. It's got hieroglyphics on the back. Let me turn this around. Hieroglyphics, there's the scarab. Then when you turn it around, it's got these hieroglyphic, hieroglyphics. Let's see if Sarah can talk today. I need my sidekick, don't I? I'm just not complete without tea. Uh, then I sold this. It's just a, it's not sterling. It's a silver tone pendant. It is quite large. So it, um, I actually got this in a, a jewelry lot some time ago. And I, I finally got around to start listing the stuff. And unlike a lot of folks who, when the shutdown happened, they were running out of inventory. There was no chance of me running out of inventory. So I bought, uh, so this sold finally, again, I hadn't listed it for long. The same here, these, I, I think this was on Shark Tank at one point. They are these pendants. And let me just show. So here's one pendant. And of course, you're not going to be able to see because of the green, the, but it says bride, the bride. But you can also then interchange them with other pieces. So there are, they're called nugs. Uh, if I had been in their marketing team, that would not have happened which is probably why they're not in business anymore. 
Uh, but then they have some really cool pieces like this fabulous piece. So, oh, you can't see the green. Darn it. Let's get another one. The beauty of this obviously is you can buy one or two of the, the main pieces that's blue. And then you just replace the, the, they just snap in. Now, another company, maybe several companies came in, did the same thing. And guess what? There were lots of them doing it after that. So uh, I sold this. It's a, it's a lot of two of the pendants um, and then several of the uh, pieces that you can pop in. It does have one earring with it. Which again, same concept, you just pop your little piece in there. But I couldn't find the other pendants. So again, this came from a jewelry lot. So I've had this next piece for quite some time. Um, as you all know, I'm not a smoker. I'm very anti-smoking uh, for reasons that most of you know. And But I picked this up because I knew it was probably going to not be used for smoking. This is a uh, advertisement piece for Spoon, the world's world famous fishing lure. And I just love the form. I love the colors. I love everything about this. So thanks for the hearts, guys. If you're tuning in for the first time, welcome. Uh, if you're watching on the play replay, it's so good to have you. Let's see what else sold. Um, I, oh no, there's more. So the next thing that sold, now I have to be honest with you and you guys know I'm a fashion maven or I used to be, I mean, I'm kind of out of that, but I had never heard it's green on the bottom. So that's why you can't see it. I had never heard of Spartina 449 between before now. Um, but I noticed this on it, very well-made piece. It is, it's got a tassel on the bottom. It looks like a lapis bead. And then this very nice gold tone, uh, elephant with, um, rhinestones included. It is part leather and the inside, it was pretty clean. Again, when I picked this up, I really didn't know what it was. And it, I think I paid $3 for it, somewhere around in there. Anyway, I ended up uh, getting $40 for it on eBay. So I was happy about that. And this piece, I was actually kind of sad that it sold, but it did. Um, I think I paid a dollar for this. And those of you that are old enough will probably remember this. So this is a, I believe it's a Rayovac. Yeah, Rayovac portable table lamp, complete with heavy duty lantern battery. Now we did have the battery, but we took it out because it was pretty nasty. Um, and it's just got, you know, a simple on off switch and then the light bulb goes in, in there. So, you can take this down and it's very portable. It's plastic. It's really light. But, it, you know, if you're from the 70s, you probably remember this. Now, the great thing about it is I have the original box. So that was a cool purchase for maybe a dollar. And I sold it for a nice profit. I don't remember the exact amount. Now, um, I think that's all for the sales I'm going to do. Tara sold um, a pair of Doc Martens. And let's just go. We'll just look. How's that? We'll just take a gander so we make sure we don't lose, we don't miss anything. Um, let's see. Orders. Um, oh, wait. There we go. Okay. So, oh, and we, I just had another sale. Oh, and there's another one. Okay. So 
let's share the screen, shall we? Uh, so as you can see, this is the Spartina purse that I just mentioned. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have um, this actually, when, uh, my cousin purchased this and it is a beautiful vintage piece. Um, and because it's for Sophia, my uh, her daughter, who is of course also my cousin, um, I have a little surprise that I'm going to include in that. So then we have, I just sold this. I just got the notification of this. It didn't sell for a lot, but again, I maybe paid a dollar for it. It's a Stone Mountain quilted handbag, um, new condition. And I think it sold for about 13, nope, $10. Let's see, what else do we have here? Um, that's the necklace I sold. Tara sold this. I do not think Tara sold this for enough. Um, she and I talked about this later. This is a beautiful piece. And I think she priced it way too low. But we, the, you know, part of this process is learning. And sometimes you pay to learn. As with any situation, sometimes you you pay to learn. So I also sold this mermaid whale tail Doug Wiley um, a piece. Uh, these are quite unique. Tara has one with a toucan that is fabulous. I think she has it listed right now for about $75. Um, this, these that are more uh, common and uh, this is, I guess would be considered plain. Um, don't sell for quite as much, but I still made a, a nice profit on that. So $23.50 so I sold that for. And I know I didn't even pay anywhere close to that. These are the Doc Martens that Tara sold. Um, these were her husband's. I guess he didn't wear them. Don't know why. But they were in excellent condition. So um, they sold for $19.99. Again, I'm not so sure that she didn't price it a little higher, but um, I've been at this a little bit longer than she has. So we're just, we're teaching each other. I mean, Tara's got, you know, we, we both have, uh, we complement each other very well in terms of our skills. So uh, let's go from there, come back to me. I want to show you some things that we have picked up. Now, some of this stuff I've had waiting to be picked up because I purchased them prior to the shutdown. And then after the shutdown, I couldn't go get them. So they've been sitting there waiting for me to get them. And oh my God, I was so happy to get them. Um, the first thing I want to show is this beautiful piece. This is called a Ronnie Blanche, Blanche, Blanche earring. It's uh, Swarovski crystals. A, a, a pair of these sell for up to five or $600. And of course I only have the one. So I have, you know, put this on as, you know, a replacement piece for maybe an earring that you've lost or you can make this into a pendant. It is beautiful. It's much more beautiful in person. Far more beautiful in person. And then it is signed on the back. Ron Blanche. Interestingly enough, I almost put this in a crafting lot just to resell because there's only one. And then I saw that name on the back and I was like, mm, Maybe I ought to check that out. And I'm glad I did. Let's see, what else do we have? Uh, we have ouch, this beautiful enameled uh, percolator, coffee pot percolator. Got some guts and stuff in there. And I love it that the colors are so bright and vibrant. Of course, you can't see the green because of the green screen. But this is just a wonderful piece in really good condition. This came from an estate sale. 
and uh, the lady took very, very good care of her items. So that was fabulous. Let's see, what else do I want to show you? All right, so this is one of the items that I bought several weeks ago and um, couldn't pick up until recently. This is uh, El Palamo by, for Frank Edwards, I think. Fred Edwards. I think I'm getting that wrong. But anyway, um, I can check it out. The I love this. The form of it is fabulous. It's um, it's you know it's not too big. It's not too small. There's creamers. This is actually a beverage pitcher. It's about six. I believe it's about six cups. I believe. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I love everything about it. There's no chipping. There's no cannot that I can see crazing. But the colors are great. The you know the the content or the subject matter is great. It's just a really beautiful piece. I think this will sell quickly, but if it doesn't, I'm actually halfway tempted to give this to my son-in-law's mother. We'll see. See, I can all these the, the great thing about this job is I can keep the stuff that doesn't sell and either make it into gifts. I mean, this is in mint condition. There is nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with this. So I can make that, you know, I, nothing goes to waste. And you guys know, let me remind everybody that I made a commitment um, about six months ago to buy nothing new. I have purchased nothing new since I made that commitment everything and I'm selling most of what I own not because I have to but because I want to I have too much crap and I'm on my husband all the time about what he keeps and you know walk the walk talk the talk let's see what else we, we picked up this darling little piece I am not sure how to even search it is hand painted and obviously it is a floral lace. It is not marked, or if there was a sticker, it is gone. It has gold gilding along the edge at the bottom. And then it had some at the top here, but that has since worn off. This is a, a, an amazing piece. Uh, I'm still trying to research it to see if I can find out who the, the made it, but the research continues. By the way, did you see my shirt today, guys? Be good to people. If you want a be good to people shirt, just contact the good folks there in Colorado. Be good to people.com, I believe, is their website. Another, I actually thought so, this was Jaeger, uh, Jaeger, Hager, um, when I picked it up, but it, it's not. It's a studio piece by CB. Now it does look like it has like a, a little green mark here, but I don't know what that is. Um, but clearly you can see the initials of the person who did it, but it's got this beautiful gold, gold gilding on it. And um, I love the contrast between kind of this um, mixed pattern, uh, splatter pattern, and then the ribbed uh, part of, the vase. This is our ewer. I, I think this is a, a vase. So um, yeah, I think this is a beautiful piece. I picked this up the other day at Heart and Hand. Heart and Hand is such an amazing organization. The, the items that they have all go to support their food bank. And I just the work they do is, is so great. So anytime I get a chance to go there, I do. But I picked up this um, little creamer. This is from Italy. It's called Mancioli. And um, I have not run the comps on this yet, but 
that is gorgeous. Of course, you can't see the green because of the green screen. We're going to have to talk to StreamYard about that. But look, you can kind of see me. Can you see me? Oh, that's so funny. Anyway, this is just a really great piece. Um, and again, for stuff like this, it, people look for replacements for pieces that they've lost, they've broken, whatever. So this will be as either an addition to your collection or a replacement. Um, fairy lamp. Fairy lamps are in demand. I will tell you, when I look at this in the sunlight, it looks like it's amberina. I don't know if you guys can see it. But I don't know that it is. When I pick this up, uh, it had a candle in it. That had melted so it didn't need cleaned up it is not marked fenton i do not believe it is fenton it looks like fenton's uh fact let's do let's just do something together shall we uh, uh let's see here i'm just going to do a search real fast and let's see if we can't find one that is similar to this now, I have another one for sale right now. It's a blue hobnob um, that is absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous. Um, but this, to me, is does not look like a Fenton. Um, but we're going to just put in, we're, we'll do red fairy lamp, and then I'll share this search with you guys. And then we can kind of look and learn together, right? So let's share my screen here with you. And let's take a look. So Indiana Glass, of course, made uh, fairy lamps. This is a Viking. This is an Amberina Diamond Point. Uh, this is Indiana Glass Home Co. These are actually quite large. Um, I have one in gold and I think one in white. Wow. I have not seen the Santa Claus fairy lamp from Benton and Amberina before. So this is new to me. I have one that is uh, green satin glass. Let's see. Anything else that matches ours here? Oh, this isn't it. This is a, um, it doesn't have the bottom, but it is a Viking, a Viking owl fairy lamp. But that's not what we are looking for. Keep searching. So let's see something. It's very simple. Oh, like there's a red Santa. Oh, no, that's an Amberina. Oh. Uh, let's see. As you can see, there's lots of fairy lamps. There's another replacement shade only. Different types of fairy lamps. This is these are ones that have the pedestal base, and this looks like it is a glow. It's um, uranium. That would be my guess. And then of course you have your traditional fairy lamps here. So these were decorative pieces. You did you could put a uh, a candle in there. Now at this point, you know because of we have flameless candles. That is what I would recommend. So I'm not seeing this particular piece um, in, in, um, on eBay. So again, it does look like a traditional, it, it looks like, like something Fenton would make, but I don't think it is Fenton. And it does not have the Fenton mark anywhere that I can see. Now, there may have been a sticker at some point that said Benton, but I'm just going to have to look this up and do some research on it. Let's see, a few other things that we got to sell while we were out and about and while we're, you know, waiting to pick them up. Uh, I learned something new. I picked these beautiful new shoes up. And they're called V1969 Italia. I had no idea. These are Versace. Uh-huh. Versace. 
Unfortunately, they don't fit me. So they are for sale. Let's see. Um, I have a pair of coach shoes that are in excellent, excellent condition. They are a size seven and a half. You know, guys, I'm a seven. I'm just saying. Now, well, here, let me do these first. These I picked up as well. These are Cole Hans. This is just a great shoe that you could wear casually or career, you know, at the office. And with its taupe color um, and the cork wedge, um, it, it's comfortable. It's quality. And it is a size... It is leather. It's a size six and a half. Hold on, you guys. You know, I'm a seven. Yeah, no, I could not wear those. They're just a little bit too small. But they're a beautiful pair. So these will be on the websites, on the eBay store soon. Uh, I picked this up. Now you're not going to be able to see the green because of the green screen, but this is a beautiful lamp um, that features Hummingbird. It's a Tiffany style lamp, um, stained glass with the um, uh, lead, you know, putting it all together, but it has the original finial. It's got this beautiful, heavy brass base. I need to do a little bit more research on this, but, and I'm not worried about it because my, my mother-in-law doesn't watch this stuff. I think I'm going to end up, end up giving it to my mother-in-law for her birthday. Uh, now, I traditionally do not sell men's items, but I will every once in a while. And this is, an ex this is one of those exceptions. These are a brand new pair of Kenneth Cole shoes. They're size 13. My husband does wears a 13, but he doesn't wear black shoes. So um, these will go up for sale soon. Those are fabulous. You know, these would be great for a wedding or uh, some, maybe a tuxedo suit, you know, that you don't wear that often. So you don't want to pay a lot of money for them. Um, or new money for them. So yeah, but size 13, aren't that a big shit? Now, before we get to the amazing end here, um, let's see here. Um, I, this is one of those pieces I picked up. It is um, Le Creuset, my fancy way of saying. It is, of course, a teapot, tea kettle. It, to me, it looks like it's brand new, that it's never been used. Um, I think I paid $8 for it, and I will probably get about 50 for it. So. Not bad. Not a bad return on my investment there. Let's see. What else do we have? Okay. Before we get to the grand finale. I purchased this um, purse. I think for three bucks. Not much. And the purse itself is not something I would typically pick up. But I did. And there was stuff in it. Now, some of the stuff I ended up throwing away, there was like some lipstick and some other things. But one of the things that was in there is this beautiful Alex and Ani bracelet with the blue rhinestone Sowalski crystal. I'm pretty sure that's Sowalski crystal. 
And I told Tara, Tara has a couple of these for sale on our store that I thought about selling it, but I don't think I am. I think I might keep this. Um, I really like it. I only have, I'm not a big Alex and Ani fan. I do have one from my, I think it was my first Big Brothers Big Sisters National Conference. Um, the CEO of Alex and Ani is actually a mentor. So I don't know. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. Inside was also this portable uh, charger, uh, you know, phone charger. Now, this would not, this is just like a kind of an emergency need. It, it's, you know, the batteries, the, the power storage packs that I have are 50,000 and this is only 5,000. So, you know, again, this is, oh my gosh, I need to make a quick emergency call. So I'll plug it in here. Um, so I'll, I'll end up either selling this or maybe giving it to my mom or to my daughter or someone. Uh, let's see. We have, I think this is awesome. This is a Pottery Barn backpack, but it's Hello Kitty and it's new with tags. Now these sell for big money and this could be adult or child. Honestly, I see an adult using this as like a diaper bag. And of course it's mint condition. It's got the Hello Kitty signature logo there. And of course the little gold Hello Kitty faces all over this gray. And it's a really soft, super soft knit um, fabric. And then it's got this, like the canvas, this is canvas handle. This is brand new. Um, so this will be listed. The hardware on this is superb. It's this brushed gold tone and superb. Now we're going to do the big reveal because I just can't wait. <sighs> yeah, you seeing that right. Ladies and gent, you are seeing that right. Those would be Chanel. Chanel with the double C on the back. The double C on the front. And these are freaking awesome. Uh, I did have them resold. They did need resold. Now, interestingly enough, I can wear these. They're size six and a half, but I could I can wear them. I say that. Maybe not. I thought I tried them on before and I could I could wear them. Anyway, these are phenomenal. I mean, anytime you can get Chanel, it's phenomenal. But when they're in such great condition and you can still wear them huh. and I'm these may be vintage I don't know yet um sh vintage Chanel uh is highly collectible and um you know some of those items can go for big 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 money I think those have a price of 300 I think originally they were about six to seven hundred uh, Chanel shoes can go into the thousands of dollars. And um, I also have a pair of Prada for sale. Those were my personal and then a pair of Gucci's that I've had. I've actually had my Gucci's for a while and they're in pretty mint condition because I don't, don't wear them a lot. They're suede loafers. But they'll be going on, on eBay store soon too. So that is what we've sold what we found and it was just good to be back in the saddle with Tara again um, of course we were very um, conscious of, of the conditions so we did wear a mask and we had plenty of hand sanitizer with us and then of course we practiced social dis distancing um, not necessarily between the two of us because we see each other but um, 
you know, particularly with other people in the store. The stores are limiting the number of individuals that can go in, which I support. I haven't had to wait a long time to get in anywhere. And one store, which is Heart and Hand, and you guys know I love Heart and Hand, they had, you know, it, it's one thing to say, hey, we're going to open up on a limited basis and you have to make an appointment to get in here or we're going to let you stand in the, because it was pouring the rain. We're going to let you stand in the rain and we're only going to let people, you know, one person in, one person out. Uh, what they did was we're going to do a, fa we're going to do a Facebook friends appreciation day and, and days. So it was Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So today is the final day. And what they did was instead of saying, Hey, because of social distancing, we're going to do this. They said, we're going to show our fans our appreciation and we're going to have appointments only for those individuals. So contact us. We will schedule a time for you to come in and shop at your leisure. And it was brilliant. I mean, doesn't that sound so much better than, um, you know, due to CDC guidelines and recommendations, we are going to do social distancing, blah, 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 and we're going to limit the number of people in our store. No, they made it a positive. We are going to say thank you to our Facebook friends, and we're going to do uh, personalized individual shopping by appointment, and we want to show you love um, when you get here. And they did. It was really, really great. Uh, I love that place. I love the people there. Um, I really encourage everyone to shop local stores. You know, the ones that have been shuttered are hanging on by threads. Many of them are. Um, I know one person who owns three restaurants and I think if this had gone on any longer, they would have filed bankruptcy and they as much, you know, said so. Um, I'm just wondering if you guys can hear me because I've been, my headphones have been on. Um, I think that's it, folks. I think that's it. I can't think of anything else uh, other than I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm sorry Tara couldn't join us, but again, uh, it is Memorial Day weekend and she, I believe, has family in. And I will tell you this too. So I am desperate to get out of the house we live in. The house is beautiful. I love it. But we are surrounded by people and most of them smoke. And you guys know how I feel about that. Not, no, 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 not going to do it. Well, we went and looked at a house Friday morning. It was amazing. Very mid-century modern, built into a hillside, had a gorgeous, like, funky fireplace. Uh, again, very mid-century modern. It had a pool, but the pool needed a lot of work, like, cleaned. The whole deck was super slick with moss. It was really sad. Someone has not lived there for quite some time, and that's very disappointing that they put it on for sale, up for sale, and they just really didn't do anything to, to highlight the beauty of it. And that's like, I don't get it. But anyway, then went to another house, which is closer to my parents, but only about 15 minutes from uh, the airport where Chip works. And I am in love with this house. It has two living areas. You know how I feel. The best marriages are where you have separate living quarters. It has four acres and it has a second house. I think it's a double wide, but we didn't see it. So I called dad and we're going to go look at it on Tuesday afternoon and Chip is going with me. I'm really hoping that. It's moving ready. It is huge. It's about 3,000 square feet. It has three to four bedrooms, three baths, two full baths, and one half bath. The kitchen's humongous. It has a garden with a wrought iron fence. It has raised beds. 
It has a lot of flowers. It has fenced in yard. It has a huge open yard. Um, it's, it's like a beautiful home. And again, it's move and ready. It has actually two living rooms, one upstairs and one downstairs. So technically you could have someone living in part of the house on the upstairs level, you know, say a mother in law suite. It also has a, a she shed, which I can see it now. Sarah's sassy, chic she shed, the sign, I can see it already. It needs finished, but I'm game. Something I can learn with my dad, you know, if he would be willing to help out, you know, and show me the skills. I, I, it's one th it's great for dad to do these things, but I want to know how to do these things. So I want him to teach me. And he's taught me a lot. You know, he sold the cabin in, in Nicholas County, which is fine. But, you know, I was learning things as I go. I fell off the dozer, dozer the other day, but not exactly what I wanted to do in front of your, your dad, but um, it happens. But I'm really hopeful about this house. I really really love this house more important I love the fact that it gets me about 30 minutes closer to my parents which is really important it has plenty of room I, it has this amazing space for my eBay uh, the she shed but then it's got some, another space for possible uh, eBay stuff um, so all my inventory could go in this one area and not clutter up any particular rooms um, as two car garage. I'm really hopeful. You know what? I'm just going to show you guys. I'm going to show you this house. How's that? Is that okay? Can I just show you this house? Um, now, I will tell you this. If I were to, if we were to buy this house, I would do make some changes to it. So, let's pull up the big picture here. So, that's what it kind of looks like. Uh, from the road, it's definitely back away from everybody and everything. And um, why is that panel on the back? Oh my gosh. Uh, so it's a rather large home. Where are the other pictures? I know there's more pictures. Okay, let's do this. Um, yeah. So, and that, that's not it. Uh, I wonder where those photos went, because there's a bunch of them. There was a bunch of these photos on here last night. Oh, well, um, you can see what I'm talking about. So it's, it's a great house. Um, I'm going to try and see if I can't find it. Uh, how many pictures do we have there? Yeah. Oh, here we go. Okay. Uh, let me share this with you guys, just because I'm excited, uh, you know, I don't, I really went out of this freaking house, you guys, I hate it here, I really hate it here, um, you know, we are lucky enough that, um, you know, Chip's mom lives close by, which is important, so this is this wrought iron fence in area for a flower garden or like a vegetable garden. Uh, two car garage. They built on this this back porch, which I'm not sure if they did a great job with it. But that I'm thinking, and then this is the she shed. I'm thinking this would be my eBay stuff. Uh, then it's got a humongous kitchen. You could have an eat in kitchen, but it also has a formal dining. This is a sunroom, very big sunroom. 
so this is the downstairs living room. It, not big. Uh, of course, I love the fireplaces. It has a laundry room, which is very nice. Uh, wet bar, which the things would need, you know, the tile would need to replace. But that's not that big of a deal. In fact, honestly, I could see myself just regrouting that and it would be fine. Uh, yeah, this is everything. Enough said. This is the formal dining. This is the upstairs living room, which again, you can make into like a little suite, like a mother-in-law suite, because I don't know if it's a load-bearing wall, but this is up against um, a bedroom. So technically you could, if it's not a load-bearing wall, maybe take that wall out or open it up and make those joining. So uh, master bath. Uh, master bedroom. This is another bedroom. This is another bathroom. Another bedroom. I hate those doors. Um, but that's really not why I love the house. So this is the second property, which I'm not really keen on. And now that I'm looking at it, I think it's just actually a single trailer, uh, which may just need burned down. Um, but I love it because of this. There's nobody around. So that is what I'm thinking. That's what I really want. Um, again, our home, we are blessed. Um, I have nothing to complain about. I just, there's too many people. I mean, we are right on top of everybody here. Uh, you know, I grew up on a farm and I'm used to having space and being able to sit on my deck without hearing everybody else's conversations. So we'll see. I'm really excited about it. Um, very excited about it. It meets all the criteria. Now it's priced a little high, but right now is the time to buy. So we shall see. We shall see. I'm excited. But anyway. I didn't really anticipate going into that, but thanks for listening. I appreciate it. Um, that's all we have today. Let me know. Would you keep this? Would you keep this or would you sell it? This is the Alex and Ani bracelet I found in a purse that I bought somewhere. There it goes. Finally focus. It's um, it's it's for energy. That's what it stands for is energy, and it's a blue Swarovski crystal. You know what I'm thinking about is my mother gave me one of those. It's a it's like a, a tourmaline, but it's got all the different colors. I can't think of the name of it. It's got all the rainbow colors in it, and I'm thinking my so a lot of my jewelry like this piece came from Teresa Gale Designs. She is an artisan here in West Virginia. She makes jewelry, amazing jewelry. A lot of my pieces are from there. But I bet you anything, she could make a bracelet like this and put that rather large stone on there. I think that's what I'm gonna do. This was an inspiration. So I think I will keep it. I don't know. But anyway, we had a lot of sales this week. Uh, we have a lot of sales in the hopper. So bids have been made. And um, now we've just got to keep up with inventory. And that's not always easy when you're working and you're doing this and you've got all these other commitments. But thank you all for tuning in. I am Sarah B. NWV without my sister T today. And we'll see you next time at the Picker's Table. Bye.